So, welcome to Abandoned Iceland. My name is Valur Grettisson, I'm editor-in-chief at Reykjavik Grapevine. Uh, we are at Skaftafell in the south of Iceland. Behind me is uh, quite impressive, we have to say, glacier there is Vatnajökull. And on the top of that is uh, our highest peak in Iceland, Kvarnadalsnjúkur. It's around 2,000 meters uh, plus 100 meters, give or take, I'm not sure. Uh, but this is, uh, of course, abandoned ice plant, and you can see that, uh, yeah, there are no cars here. We were just using this parking lot for Polly right now, my trusty uh, assistant. But we're going to check out this information uh, center, which is here. Uh, and, like, I don't know, I don't know if, if anybody is alive here. This is quite empty. <laughs> okay, it says here, like, welcome to Skaftafell. Uh, this is like uh, what paths are like vulnerable or we should be careful at. Uh, and here is like the flower of the of the week. Okay, at least there is uh, one man working here, absolutely alone, I guess. Perhaps few words. How has it been the past days here and weeks? Are you been, have you been open since March or? Yeah, we've been open every day. Okay. Um, like, in total, how many guests have you had here, like, past two months? <laughs> um, total. Are any groups? Or? Yeah, they've got, maybe 10 to 20 a day. Oh, almost. really? Yeah. Okay. But how was it before COVID? Um, well, it was usual, it was crazy. <laughs> like? Yeah, about 10,000 a day. 10,000? Uh, no, not 10,000. Yeah. Maybe, I don't know, two. 500, 800, yeah. 1,000 people. Wow. So it's 10 and 20 now. So <laughs> it's like, Ars want, wants me to hike to this waterfall, black waterfall called Svartifoss, or black waterfalls. So we've started the trail. Uh, as you can see, it's, it's pretty comfortable right now. It's probably going to get more into the wild when we, <laughs> when we go further. This is also like a camp site here. This place here is always like at this time cramped with tents. At least some of them, a lot of people like uh, cycles around the Iceland and uh, are like and stop, stops here. Uh, but uh, yeah, there is of course nothing here. Just more room for Polly to play with her ball. Good. And I go really long now. Here, here's the waterfall. It's a classic one, I guess. Uh, it's the most popular and easiest trail to Svartifoss. Starts here. It goes above Gamlutun, like old uh, fields, across Astragil, Gali on a footbridge, uh, past two waterfalls, uh, Hundafoss, I like that. It's like a, a dark waterfall. That's good for Polly at least. Ready? Okay, this is definitely impressive. Beautiful to see the sands here and this crazy waterfall here. Here's the thing, a lot of like tourists actually go to the shops and buy water for some unclear reason. You should never do this. You can actually drink it from the taps. But what I love is just drink it straight from the creek. This is definitely the best water in the world. In my opinion, of course. Jesus, I don't know what this is, but it's obviously some farmer stuff <laughs> and something that us, the city kids, do not know uh, anything about or see it. Oh, it's heavy, but it feels like a 
like a weapon that a monster could use. I don't know. Anyways, we have like 0.8 kilometers left. This route here is incredibly easy, much easier than I actually thought. Uh, you could probably get here on a, in a wheelchair or like a, with a stroller, although it could be a hassle, but, but it's, uh, it's good, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Can I talk? So here's Svartifoss, and I haven't seen this waterfall actually before. I'm grateful to my to our readers that pointed out uh, that we should visit visit this waterfall. Uh, <coughs> what I love, love about him, and you see this in some waterfalls in Iceland, is the col columnar basalt, like the formation of the stones. Uh, it's called an Iceland, Icelandic Sturaberg. Uh, it's a very famous uh, formation of stones, and it's basically when uh, uh, it's like uh, it's, it comes from like what do you call it? Like from the lava or magma cools uh, and contraction causes the new rock to split into six-sided columns. So this is like yeah, like an odd odd thing. And this this stone actually, I think the same stone is used for like Hatgrimskirkja, uh, for our national theater, and it's it's quite famous and very very Icelandic. <laughs> but we're gonna check out the waterfall. We're gonna go down to the bridge. We can't go too close to it because the, the rocks uh, are crumples from, from, the, from the roof of it. So, yeah, we have to just look at it from there. <laughs> Come on. Finally, some tricky roads. Uh, yeah, what I said about the road before, that it was easy, I take that back. <laughs> it obviously gets a little bit harder when we walk on, on here. Uh, if I go down here, we, I will not die, but it, it will probably hurt a little bit. So, and of course, I will become very dusty at the same time, so we don't want that now, do we? <sighs> and it's good, it's like wet. Okay, where are we going, Art? Here. Okay, this was a little bit more complicated than I thought, but it's fun. It truly is. I love it when you have to climb like a little bit of snow or just touch yourself at least a little bit. But of course, uh, these hiking routes are not designed for that because of mass tourism, I guess. So it make it is better to make it easy as possible. Also, it's like we're, it's like, like I said before, perhaps uh, it's been a little bit cold spring. It means like we have more snow now than usual. So it's like, it's still like, it still hasn't gone entirely. Okay. Here we are. Hey. 
Oh. <laughs> Olé. Uh, we're finally here to Svartifoss. It didn't take us that much, a long time to get here. It was like half an hour, perhaps. Uh, it's, a, it's a beautiful place, I have to say. Uh, uh, as I said before, like this uh, formation of the rocks are like, I love this, it's very Icelandic. And not only that, uh, a man told me that I was talking to here a little bit earlier, that this inspired the architect, Guðjón Samuelsson, actually to like uh, build the National Theatre in, in, in Reykjavík. And if you go into the theatre, you can actually see exactly the same formation on the walls there. It's, it's, it's quite unique and quite fun to see it. So this, this waterfall is like, uh, it, it has inspired art, uh, architecture, uh, whatever in Iceland. Also what I love here is like the colors. You can see it like it's, it's like pitch black when you look, look, look at it here. Uh, basically because it's, it's wet of course. And you can see like how they get co become like grey, white, until they're absolutely white here. With the black tones in it. It's like, it's like a crazy painting or something. Is that like someone that went with it with a pencil? But yeah, that's abandoned Iceland. Uh, this is Skaftafell and Svartifoss. Uh, please like us and subscribe if you like this stuff. Uh, if you don't, then just write a nasty comment about it. You know what to do. Uh, uh, we'll do more videos. You can link on someone up here, hopefully. If they're not here, then, then they're here. If they're not there, then they're somewhere here, I guess. <laughs> Anyways, goodbye and see you later.